Hey guys, um, in this video I wanted to show you how to install Plex and set it up to point to that, um, that network drive that we installed with Open Media Vault. Um, so what we need to do now is we have to create a new VM. Um, so I'm going to go to create VM. Um, actually before that I'm just going to, we're going to use Ubuntu for Plex. So Ubuntu is going to be installed or Plex is going to be installed on Ubuntu. So um, just go to Ubuntu.com and go to download and download this right here. It should, once you click this, it'll prompt you. To, it'll actually automatically download the file. So I've already downloaded this um, and I've also already uploaded it to Proxmox. So if you remember, I went to local and set upload and then uploaded the ISO. Um, so do all that first and then come to create VM and just call it 101 and I'm going to call it Plex that's the name of the server um, this is going to be Ubuntu uh, Linux we're actually going to use a docker image installed on Ubuntu so it's a really uh, pretty simple install process so next leave that all default uh, I'm going to make this actually a hundred gigabytes because the metadata files get really large not really large but they take up a decent amount of space like the the covers and the artwork um, for Plex um, it can use a decent amount of data so let me just do a hundred for now CPU I'm gonna go with one and six again um, six gigs is fine and then Intel here and then click next and start after created so you see this is a very similar process as to how we got open media vault up and running so oh see I forgot to click start after oh no it, I did click it okay so if we go to the console for Plex you see now we're in the um, Ubuntu install page or installer. Okay. Just let it do its thing. And yeah, like I was saying, we're going to use Docker to install this. Okay, so first we're just going to go through the Ubuntu installer. Uh, just click through all this stuff. Um, tab to get down. And done. Continue. Fran, server's name is going to be Plex. Fran. Yeah, I'm going to install this. Oops. I'm not going to install any of this stuff. Okay, and then just let it install. Um, in the meantime, let's go over and look at the Plex installation of how we're going to do that. So, I like to use this uh, Plex Docker Ubuntu, this Linux server Plex. Uh, this is a really popular one and it's like well supported um, so we're just going to review these installation instructions here so um, this is basically what we need we need this docker command but even before we do that actually we need to install docker so let's google um, docker install Ubuntu 20.04 um, this looks pretty convincing yep, how to enable docker, yep it 
This looks pretty. This looks easier than I remember. This must be. Um, you know, let's just try this. I kind of remember having to do a little bit more, but um, let's just go through this because basically we just need Docker, and then we, once we have Docker installed, we just go through this setup. Yeah, so as long as we can run this Hello World, we're good. Uh, what else do we need to look at? So, restart. I like to say restart always. This means always restart Plex when the server boots up. Um, this stuff, just leave alone, leave all this alone, and this is where we need to um, set a few things up, so so this is just the directory where we want our config stuff to um, be installed. Um, so we'll get into that later. Oh, six minutes. I'll just pause it for now. So you see the installation is completed, but it's doing some updates. So it's downloading and installing security updates. So I'm just going to let that run, um, and then we'll pick it back up. All right, guys. So it finished. Um, now we can click reboot. So I'm just going to reboot that, and um, oh yeah, what we should do? We should go to hardware here on our Plex and see where it says the CD drive it thinks that's where the ISO is so we're just gonna remove that because we don't need that anymore I think that's what that error we were seeing in the console was about um, we should do the same thing with the Open Media Vault one we don't need that alright so if we look at the console it should be uh, rebooting oh then press enter okay um, now I'm going to actually um, SSH into this instead of using the um, shell here. So if you don't have PuTTY installed, I suggest you download PuTTY. Um, and PuTTY is just a client that lets you SSH into uh, machines on Windows. Um, so I go to PuTTY, and that's my old Plex, so I'm going to delete that. And once this um, boots up, I'm going to get the IP of it. So first, Plex login. Um, okay, it's acting a little weird, probably because it's still booting up. I'm just going to give it a few seconds here. What is, I don't know what the password would be. I gotta be a little more patient. <laughs> I think it's still just booting up for the first time. There we go. Okay. So we're in. Um, what I wanted to do, yeah, I wanted to get the um, IP address of this by saying ifconfig. I guess we have to install it first. I don't ever remember having to install this. Okay, so now we have 
our address is right here. So I'm going to go to putty and I'm going to make um, fran at 192.168.0.187. Um, I'm also going to go to the terminal, no, the window, no, where's the appearance, and I like to make it a vertical line and make the cursor blink. So if I click that, that's kind of weird. There we go. So click yes. Login is Fran. Okay. I just like working out of this instead of the screen here. It's not necessary. Um, but the next thing now we need to do is install Docker. So if we go, or actually before we do that, let's we need to mount that share. So remember we made the Open Media Vault share and I've mounted it on uh, my Windows computer here. So that Fran Archives 2, that's Open Media Vault. We need to do the same thing on Linux. So it doesn't automatically do that on Linux. Um, so we need to install this SIFS utilities package. So if we just copy this and run that. Just click yes. The next step is saying uh, we need to just make a, a mount point. So we just have to make a folder basically for everything where, where it's going to go. So um, I'm going to say sudo make dir. So actually, if you type ls, there's nothing here. So I'm going to go to the home directory and type ls. Now you'll see there isn't a M oh there actually is. So there's the mount directory. But if we go in that, we don't have anything. So here we're gonna make a new directory. And I'm actually not gonna call it local share. I'm gonna call it um, Fran Archives. Click enter. And now we need to run this command, which basically tells like this IP address slash folder, put it in this location. So let's just edit it right here. Um, so the IP of the Open Media Vault was um, 192.168.0. Zero. One oh seven slash right for an arc. No, there's a dash there. Wait a second. I th this is just the name of this. I think let's let's disconnect this. I want to make sure I have this right before we attempt to run it. That's the old one. God damn it. Uh, 139. Okay, so this is what we need. Fran Archives, that's right, and then this will be, okay, so what it's saying is mount this, uh, you know, network location, and like where do you want it to be on the Linux, this local Linux server, we want it to be in uh, this location here, so if we print 
the working directory, we're saying we want it to be that network location to be accessible there, basically. So that's all we're doing here. And if I run this, permission denied. So let's um, hmm. let me switch to the root user by saying sudo su. Now let's try that. Invalid argument. Oh, I have this extra bracket there. I just cleared the screen. Okay. So it's actually prompting the password for the Open Media Vault, not the Linux, not this Ubuntu password. It's asking what the password is for this network location. So it, I set it up to be the same password. But um, okay, so we're looks like it worked. So now if we list, oh, actually I don't see it in there. Okay, there it is. So, cd So you can see we have music in here. So, this is a confirmation that it's it's working. Um, I'm actually going to stop the video here. It's getting a little long, but we'll pick this up in the next video.